All right, hi everyone. Uh, I can't tell you what we're looking at, but it's Missoula. So these are mountains. This is mountain yoga. <laughs> uh, episode two, we did a little bit of a walk and talk um, on the way up here. So we started in the rattlesnake and we came up here talking about seasonal affective disorder, SAD. So we are going to do a practice today that will, can help um, with the side effects, the symptom, side effects of seasonal affective disorder. Body aches and pains, lack of diet, vitamin C, needing some movement, boosting your mood and so forth. The practice that we're doing today, I recommend doing in the morning or afternoon, but not really anything later than like five o'clock uh, because we're doing stuff that's a little bit more vigorous, <clears throat> some quicker breaths, and that's something that can actually keep you from getting a good night's sleep. So you want to do this kind of thing earlier in the day. Plus this starts your day really well. One thing I recommend if you didn't listen to the walk and talk before this is if you've got a blue light, um, like a therapy light, turn this on in the room that you're going to practice. Um, and that can be your 20 plus minutes of light therapy for the day or <clears throat> bundle up, get outside and do this with us. So, um, I'm actually going to try to sit, I don't know, this is slanting that way. I guess I'm not going to sit on the rock. Um, I'll try, I'm going to sit like this. Okay. All right. So come into an easy seated position. My whole point of all of this, look, I'm wearing cords. My whole point is you can do this anytime, anywhere. It doesn't matter. You don't need fancy, fancy pants. Okay. So sit in your comfortable seated position. Let's do some torso rotations. Oh, this actually feels really good after having hiked up here. So if you did hike someplace and you don't have a good place to sit, then you can stand. <clears throat> Look at me doing this on a, on a hill. Doing some torso rotations, some hip rotations like this. Okay, let's go in the opposite direction. I don't know if I'm actually going in the opposite direction. I feel like maybe I need to go this way. I, I don't remember the direction I need to go. Okay. But if you're standing, I'm going to go my other direction. Look, have fun with this. When have I ever cared if I looked ridiculous? Granted, there's nobody to see me besides you guys and Clint, but whatever. All right. If you're seated, hands on your knees. Inhale, chest forward, exhale, round your back. And if you're standing, you can do the same thing. Bend your knees. Whatever you're doing, sitting or standing, inhale, lift your chin to the sky. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, lift your chin. Exhale, chin to chest. Two once more, inhale, lift your chin. Exhale, chin to chest. Keep your chin against your chest. Let's bring it over, sweep it over to the left. And right. Left. And right. Let's go up and over to the left. Oh, reach it up. This is also a nice balance challenge for me because I'm on the side of a mountain, up and over to the right, up and over left, and up and over to the right. Probably doing this quicker than usual because I'm cold. <laughs> left arm out to the left, right hand of your heart. Inhale left, exhale right. Oh, inhale left, exhale right. And if you're standing, make sure you bend your knees for this. Now inhale right, exhale left. Inhale right, exhale left. And come back to center. Let's do a little bit of a standing sun salutation. Inhale, arms out and overhead. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, lift your chest and chin. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms out and overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's do that again, inhale, arms out and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, fill your lungs. Fold forward. Inhale, arms out and overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's take a big step forward with your right foot. Warrior one. Actually, this is gonna be high crescent, yeah. So your left heel is still pressing to the floor. Arms alongside your ears. Work on getting that right knee over that ankle. Press that left heel into the ground. Bring, keep your arms alongside your ears. Draw yourself forward. Lengthen up or lengthen out. See if you can place that left hand on the ground. Right arm reaches forward, up and around. Let's rotate towards your right leg. I'll admit this is easier for me because I'm going uphill. Hmm. Bring your torso parallel to the ground again. Arms alongside your ears. Bring yourself up. Okay, press that right foot into the floor. Bring it back, step it back. Nice. Arms come down to heart center. Big step forward with your left foot. Honk. Right heel stays to the ground. So that's what you're doing right there. That right heel stays down. You're getting that calf stretch. Left knee over your left ankle. Let's bring your arms above you. I don't know why I keep forgetting my gloves. It's okay. Okay, keep your arms alongside your ears, lengthen out, press your right heel into the ground. Keep reaching your way. Oh. Bring that right hand to the ground. Oh, that feels good. Rotate towards your left leg. Left fingertips reach up to the sky. Oh, I smell a campfire. Okay, torso parallel to the ground, arms alongside your ears, bring yourself up. Press your left foot into the ground, bring yourself back up. Hands come to heart center. Okay, let's do a little bit of kundalini work. Yes, please. Okay, feet are a comfortable distance apart. Um, I'm gonna stand right here so I'm not so um, downhill, uphill, okay. All right, so we're going to go slow with this, and then I'll leave you to it to keep doing it on your own. So inhale, pad your chest. Exhale, touch the ground. Inhale, tap your sternum. Exhale to the left. Inhale, pad your chest. Exhale down. Inhale, tap your sternum. Exhale to the right. Inhale, down. Inhale left inhale down inhale right pound your chest and tap your sternum so after you pound your chest you go straight down after you tap your sternum you go to another side If you mess up, that's okay. Bring it back again.
And one last time, pound your chest. And arms down to the sides. Inhale, lift your right arm and left leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, down. This time we're gonna hold it up. Right arm, left leg. Deep breaths through your nose, relax your face. Exhale, release. Left arm, right leg, bring it up. And release, all right. Come on to your tippy toes on both feet, arms above you, reaching up. Oh, this is such a good stretch for your toes. Palms face forward. Okay, we're gonna do breath of fire, breathing, sniffing through your nose. When you're ready, begin. And release. Okay, believe it or not, kundalini thing, we're gonna run in place. Find a nice good spot for this. I think it's right where I was. Okay, run in place. <clears throat> okay, so right now, you may have little bouncing on the balls of your feet. All right, so let's change it up. Bring your heels up. Okay, change it up, lifting your knees. Okay, come back to balls of your feet. Okay, now you're gonna incorporate um, some punches with it. Punching out. Believe it or not, this is Kundalini. Punching up. Punching out to the side. And stop. Deep breaths through your nose. Standing sun salutation, inhale arms out and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Arms out and overhead. And hands come to heart center. Breath of fire. No, no, not breath of fire, sorry. Breath of joy. Different beast. Okay. With breath of joy, we're going to sniff, cross your arms. Sniff, open your arms. Sniff, lift them up. And then breathing, exhaling out your nose, bending your knees. So it's like this. Okay, do it with me. Go at your own pace. Maybe you want faster, maybe you want slower. Ah. 
One more. <sighs> okay, standing where you are. Notice what there is to notice. Breathe through your mouth. Nice. Uh, let's do a little bit of balancing work. So balancing work always warms me up. And balancing work is really great for um, focus, clarity, staying present. So we're gonna work on King Dancer. So let's do a little bit of a warm up. So stepping onto your left foot, just bring your right foot up, okay? So we're just gonna get a nice little stretch on the quadricep here, holding on to the part of your foot just at the base of your toes. We're not going to move at all first, so I just want to practice this. Keep your right knee snug into your left. Keep your thighs together. <clears throat> See if you can get that right heel to touch your butt. And we're not doing much else from this, but I want you to work on keeping your shoulders over your hips. Don't lean forward, shoulders over your hips. And depending on your um, body structure, you may need to bend your right elbow to draw your shoulders over your hips, okay? Deep breaths through your nose, so just baby practice for balancing. This could be your king dancer too, not to Rajasana, this could be your king dancer. Okay, put the right foot down. Let's do this on the other side. Okay, bring up your left heel, hold on. And so you're holding on with your hand on the outside of your foot. Um, you can also hold from the inside too. That's entirely up to you. But this, for right here, this is just doing a quadricep stretch. Thighs stay together. Don't let that knee splay out. Heel draws in. Draw your shoulders over your hips. This is a little bit of a back bend, even this little thing here. Okay, left foot goes down. Let's bring the right foot up again. Okay, this time we're going to switch the hand so that it's holding from the in inside, the big toe side. Keep that right knee hugged in. That helps to protect the knee. Now, this is the big trick with King Dancer, is press the top of your foot into your hand and keep pressing the whole throughout the whole pose, okay? Now, pressing your foot into your hand, that's gonna pull your shoulder back a little, okay? Left arm comes forward. Your drishti, your focal point is out there. Start to draw that right knee back. Keep pressing your right foot into your hand. Tip forward if you're ready for it. Breathe. We're going to do five more breaths. Right knee comes down. You're not done with the pose. Right foot to the ground. Nice, let's switch sides. So I actually hear voices. Boy, that's not something you've met. All right, shift your weight to your right foot. Bring your left foot up. Okay, switch it. Hold. I'm gonna face this way. I'm gonna look at the mountains. Okay, left foot up, switch so you're holding from the big toe side. Thighs stay together. You wanna make sure that your thighs stay in two lanes. You're not gonna switch off into an exit lane. Right arm comes forward, press the left foot into your left hand. When you're ready, start to draw that left knee back. And then when you're ready, maybe you tip. Five breaths from here.
Left knee comes down. Left foot to the floor. Nice. Sun salutation, inhale, arms out and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift. Fold forward. Arms out and overhead. And hands come to heart center. It's good for a triangle pose. Feet wide. <clears throat> so start out with your feet parallel. So for the past, I don't know, two or three years, I've been really big onto my triangle poses coming from a, a warrior two. So, oh, there's a rock there. Hello, rock. All right, so right foot becomes perpendicular to your left foot. <clears throat> Bring yourself into a warrior two first, okay? So when you get into your warrior two, maybe you find you need a longer stance, a wider stance, okay? So don't be afraid to use all of this leg space. Okay, that right knee pulls over to the right, gaze goes over your right middle finger. Now, let's straighten the right leg and tip. So I like coming from a warrior two because it allows me to still hold on to my shin and keep my torso nice and long. Um, for so long, my legs were so close to, my legs were too close together <clears throat> and it really created um, a not very good triangle pose. Okay, so from here, let's pivot that left heel back and let's turn this into a revolved triangle. So bend that right knee just a little bit. We're gonna keep both sh hands on your right shin. So I wanna micro bend in your right knee. That left heel pivots out. Press into that right foot. Bring your torso back up. Let's bring that right foot parallel. Make sure that left foot is parallel. Okay, left toes out to the left. Let's turn this into a warrior pose. Left foot is the bent, or left leg is the bent one. Find a nice wide warrior pose. Make sure that your legs aren't gonna slide, okay? Draw that left leg to the left. So you wanna get some good muscle engagement. How are we on time? Okay, so let's straighten that left leg, turn this into a triangle pose. Oh. Okay, that right heel goes back, readjust if you need to. Right heel goes back, micro bend in that left knee. And I can tell, not only am I on a little bit of a hill, but I have work to do in my right leg, my ankle, because my ankle is wiggling, so it's working on stabilizing me. So it's good that I'm doing this. So this is sort of a modified revolve triangle pose so that I'm not putting my hands on the ground. <clears throat> not that I'm afraid to here, but it's a little bit accessible for most people. All right, bring yourself up, bring both feet parallel, hands to your hips. Let's bring the torso parallel to the ground. Tilt your tailbone up. Belly button goes towards the ground. So you're tilting your pelvis forward, lengthen out. Bring yourself up. Come on up to standing. So from here, we're gonna work on eagle pose. Okay. 
bend your knees. Eagle pose, the secret to eagle pose is that standing leg is deeply bent. Don't be afraid of that, okay? So bend your knees like you're gonna sit down on something. Shift your weight to your left leg. Right leg crosses over left. You can stay like this, right? So this is like the kids in grade school that had to pee. Perhaps, I don't even know if I can do it with my shoes on, perhaps your foot right wraps around your calf um, there's a potential for that to cramp up your TFL here, so do it or don't. It's up to you. You can also just press your foot into the outside of your left thigh. So right leg over left, left elbow inside of right, wrap your forearms, sit down, lift your elbows. Okay, five breaths from here once you get to it. Let your belly move with your breath. Okay, unwind, stand tall, inhale, arms out and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms out and overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Okay, eagle pose on the other side. Standing leg is your right leg. Bend your knees. So there's a lot of quads and hamstrings in this one. Wrap your legs, right elbow inside a left. Wrap your arms, if you can't wrap them entirely, press the backs of your forearms together, or maybe you just hold on with the right arm on top, okay? Hips go down, elbows go up, five breaths. Unwind. Inhale, arms out and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms out and overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Okay, let's do one more. We're going to do a little bit of a tough one. So this is part of Uthita Hasta Padangustasana. <clears throat> so we're gonna use our pants, because I'm wearing pants. If you have bare feet, then maybe grab onto your big toe. So standing leg is your left leg. Grab onto your right pant leg or calf, or maybe you can hold onto your shoestrings, but I'm gonna hold onto my pants, okay. Point your right toes. Leg reaches out. Okay, we're gonna do breath of fire, light sniffing through your nose. Okay, double dog dare, keep the leg there. Hands to your hips. Deep inhale, lift it. Lower it down. Whew, let's do that on the other side. Okay, shift your weight to your right leg. Bring your upper left leg, grab onto your pant leg. Okay, reach that leg out. Point the leg, right hand to your right hip. Breath of fire. Okay, 
Double dog there, hands to your hips. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, lower it. Oh gosh, okay. I apologize for my snot. Okay, one last. Inhale, arms out and overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms out and overhead. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Let's take a moment. Let's listen. Lift the sides of your mouth. Say to yourself, I am worthy. I am wonderful. I am that, Hamsa. I am part of the universe, part of the stars, part of this planet. Think a positive thought about yourself. Something, anything. What are you good at? What are you trying to be better at? Maybe you're good at listening. Maybe you're good at writing thank you, thank you notes. Maybe your superpower is like finding like the best birthday cards. Good. I'm not good at that. Good for you. Think a positive thought about someone you love. And visualize what positive energy and positive thoughts look like. Is it bright and sparkly? Is it a pretty color? Is it like butterflies? Is it flowers? What does it look like for you? And release some positive energy, positive thoughts out into the universe. Let it float around become part of the wind and visualize those positive thoughts floating over to some other country and sprinkling down on somebody you don't even know. May all beings in the universe be happy and free and may our actions and our thoughts contribute to their happiness and their freedom. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. Bye, everyone. See you next time.